Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to use this AI builder controls like business card reader, receipt processor and text recognizer, recognizer in Power Apps. I have already designed these pages like a welcome screen. So I'll be using a master screen where uh, I'll be having the template where I have to use it throughout the screen and uh, this is the first screen this I have set this as a first screen where it will ask you for the option business card reader receipt processor and text recognizer so the next screen if I click on the business card reader so it will open up like this okay so let us insert business card reader for that you have to go to the AI builder and click business card reader where it will um, add a control okay it will give you this thing like uh, this is a premium component and give this just click ok and then uh, open this business card reader so business card reader this is the model which is already written that you can directly make use of it apart from this other than uh, form processor and object detector these three models are already written and you can directly use it if you want to use the form processor or object detector, then we have to build the model. Okay, we have to train the model that we will discuss in a different video. So let us see how to extract, uh, what are the, uh, extract these properties into it. For that, I'm just adding the label. Okay, and uh, a text box to display those components. So for example, in a business card reader you will be having the name of the um, person let us see a simple business card reader here i'm just going to show you a simple business card reader mm. so here you can see that this is the business card reader okay this is a sample card business card which i have downloaded here you can see that uh, the, the name of the person, what is the designation, his phone number, mail ID, everything will be here. So we are going to display that. So let for displaying that, let us have uh, these controls, like because we have to display that, right? So we, let us have these controls over here. I'm just using label box to uh, show the name and, uh, and a text box to uh, display the uh, relevant details from the card okay from where we are going to fetch the data i'm going to just display the relevant data so once if you uh, click no like uh, click the text box where we have to display the result so go to the default property so this is the property pane go to the default property and then start typing business card reader okay and once if you just press the dot period you can see that these are all the various properties which are related to the business card reader that is address city address country region address postal code address post office code everything okay so a company name email name first name full address full name everything so if you want uh, first one is what we need a full name right so we will just give us a full name and the second one is what the email let us take it as an email so whatever the property you want to display there you can use it as uh, I just want only few properties to be displayed. I'll just show you those properties. So I want a name and I want the phone number. Okay, so I'm just going to give the phone number over here. And in text box property, I wanted to give business card reader one. This is what the business card reader one is what the name of the business card reader. If you want to rename it, you can go and edit it or else just leave this. And in the text box, you have to write what you want to display dot. Just give business phone or a mobile phone. <laughs> business phone if it is available there uh, the business phone is there then it will definitely come out okay and if it is a mobile phone then that will be there then next one is what so next one will be the email okay let us just go ahead with email and uh, we have to display the email id of this so let us just type business card reader dot email okay and if you want to know about the city and address then simply uh, save it address okay and then you can change the property to address okay 
fine so this is how the business card reader works let us just play this alone and see how it is working okay just play this this is preview button so here you have a scan business card click scan and you have to select uh, the one from the desktop so this is the business card click that once it is loaded in the card reader you can see automatically the name the corresponding name phone number email id and the address which is yeah recognized by the business card reader here you can see this is the name of the person phone number of the person email id and address so we are done with the business card reader so here you have the result okay so now let us just proceed with the next one which we call it as a receipt processor so what receipt processor will do if you have a receipt if you have um, uh, went if you went to any um, shop and you are getting the receipt and if you want to store that data into your uh, in your uh, database then you can definitely use the receipt processor for that i am just getting ai builder go to the receipt processor and click okay got it you will get a receipt processor control here just expand this control likewise how we did it you can just simply insert a label to display what is that property is all about and also you can use the text box okay so text input so what are the very essential thing which we can use it was the merchant name okay so i'm just giving merchant name probably this will be there merchant name and i'm just changing the font size to 20 i'm just making it visible for everyone deleting this and making this to 20 okay and you can see that this is the merchant name so once if you click on the text box and go to the default property of the text box start typing receipt processor here receipt processor one dot you can see various options merchant address merchant name merchant phone number original image subtotal tax tip total everything so as first we want this property that is a merchant name so i'm just giving merchant name okay and the next one is what we saw like um, if you want something else to add you can add it or else if you want only the total to be displayed you can also display that okay so i'm just going ahead with the total okay total where you wanted to display what the total amount which is paid by us so dot you can just type total so other than that you have various option various properties if you want to display that that is also fine so merchant address merchant phone number if you want to print a merchant phone number you can print merchant phone number this is a merchant phone number let us make it as merchant phone number and the next one is what the total okay so let us make it as a total i'm just copying and pasting the controls okay this will create uh, the control as like this like text input 2 underscore 2 if you want to just change it you can change it it is better to change the name because we will just confused with what are the properties we have to use so as of now i'm just proceeding dot dot we need a total so i'm just using a total okay so once if we execute and see we need a receipt to process scan the receipt so i have a receipt here i'm just scanning it ensure that the receipt that is the image is clear to view like it should be very clear there should not be any um like see here the image is not proper okay that is why it is not fetching the uh, telephone number of the merchant okay that is the issue other than that it is easily fetching the total okay that is 16.5 and the shop name there is no shop name so it is understanding this is a shop name only if the receipt is clear you will get the proper input okay so here you have the phone number but it is not performing the phone number okay let us see what is there here in the yeah you have the phone number in the receipt but it is not it couldn't uh, properly recognize it because of the image quality okay so let us proceed with the next one which is called uh, the text recognizer the same thing you have to go to the ai builder go to the text recognizer 
click got it use this okay so in text recognizing we we can use anything so here what it will do is whatever the thing which we are selecting that will be recognized by the um, uh, power apps ai builder so i'm just using a label where selected text i'm just naming it as a selected text and here i'm making it as a center making it a 25 okay and under that i'm having a text input i'm just deleting the value here and then i'm making it at 20 the properties okay the text box properties and then i'm just making it as multi-line because anyhow if i select a big text it should appear here so here i should go to the default property of the text box make it as text recognizer one dot what you want to display like original image what is the original image or selected text you want to display selected dot text so whatever the text you are selecting that will be up uh, available in this text box okay this is the text box you will be getting that particular text which you are selecting from the text recognizer or you have various options you can explore that too just simply i'm just going to show you how i am just recognizing the text i am importing the business card okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to select a text from that business card you can see that whatever the text which i am selecting that is appearing in the text box okay so that is what the property called selected text text recognizer dot selected dot text okay even if you want to use this you can also use this so we have these properties finally what i have did is i have already written this code for the home screen navigation screen and this is the back screen okay and i have written this code everywhere so once if you just execute the app okay just let's let's go and see if i click business card reader you will get this if you want to scan it again you can scan a different card if you have and once you scanned it you will get the result here okay and if you want to go to the home page again just click the home and then go to the receipt processor you can use that receipt processor if you want to click back it will go back go to the text recognizer and if you want to select any te text and see your text will be available there if you want to display the image all the properties are available in the text recognizer as well hope you like this video just explore other other properties in the text box uh, business card reader receipt processor and text recognizer this will be your uh, uh, work that you have to just try it out and see what are the other properties you have and how to make use of that and in the next video we will see how to store these data so we have already created this business card and everything how to store this data as a collection okay so you have uh, name phone number email address so this is uh, this is dynamically sorry this is statically displaying the data if you want to store this if you want to store the information about multiple cards then how will you store it using a collection so we will be talking about the collection in the next video thank you take care bye bye